Bron, what did you think the biggest difference was between the time you played well the first quarter and then the third and then the second quarter they scored 40 and down the in crunch time when they kind of ran away with it? Uh, I think the second quarter, like you said, they, they, they made some tough shots. Uh, we kind of let it, the defense, we let our offense dictate our defense, and, um, you know, we have to be better at that. Um, and obviously 40 points in any quarter is too much. Um, you know, and down the stretch, we had some we had some careless turnovers, some costly turnovers when we were making a run. Uh, myself, I know I had three of them that was just very careless, um, you know, and, and they capitalized off of it. Ball movement was pretty good in the preseason. Uh, they were switching a lot tonight, but what did you see there defensively as you guys got stagnated at times? Uh, I mean, at times we got stagnant, but at times we still got great shots. Um, or, you know, TD had a, a great look off dribble penetration. Um, Queen had a couple looks, um, you know, in that fourth quarter they didn't go. We had some great looks, they just didn't go. So, you know, it's kind of easy to point it out uh, when we don't score. But I think we had some dribble penetration, we had some good kickouts um, that just didn't go for us. So, uh, we were always a pass first team, want to get guys involved, um, get the guy, who, whoever's open, a great look, and, um, you know, and, and live with the result. LeBron, do you think the, the defensive issues that cropped up today are sort of issues of guys learning to play together? Is it one of the intensity? I don't think they're issues. You don't have issues after one game. You lined up to take two charges. Um, it's not the most typical thing that, that you do. Is that something that the situation called for or is it something that shows the commitment uh, to the defensive end? Uh, for me, I do whatever it takes to help us try to win a ball game. You know, I put myself in a position where I was able to take a couple charges. Um, you know, and and that's what it's about. I mean, for me, it doesn't. Uh, you know, I can you know, get block shots when we need it. I can try to take some charges if I'm there in position. Um, you know, try to stop my man from scoring. And uh, so, you know, it's always going to be you know multiple opportunities for me to be um, you know on time on target on the defensive end. You know, it usually takes a couple months to see a team's true character, but this was such a big first test and first game and, and build up to this rivalry and all the physicality. Did you like just the grit and the mentality that you guys brought to the table? No, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree on uh, how big of a test it was. It's the first game. You know, obviously, it's the NBA is back, and, and that's what everybody is trying to have the narrative of, of a rivalry game, and it's a huge test. I think both teams are not who they want to be. Uh, we have a lot of room to improve. We're a new group that's coming together. We have a new coaching staff. We have a new system. Um, and, and it's not a rivalry. We're trying to get better every single day on how we can be uh, as great as we can be. We did some good things tonight. We did some not so good things. And, and that's and that's that happens in game one, uh, especially for a new club. So uh, we look forward to, to getting in the film room tomorrow and, and seeing you know some of the mistakes that we made where we could have been better at. You personally, what was it like to get back on the court after such a long layoff for you? Uh, Ecstatic. I was so excited to get back on the floor. Um, obviously, a little, a little rusty as far as, you know, my perimeter shooting and just not being in a game situation in a while, not playing. I haven't played, you know, that many minutes in, in quite a while um, since I set the last nine games off, you know, from last season. Um, but just to be able to go out there and, and, and fly around once again and jump high and, um, you know, and just be at 100%. Um, something I worked my tail off after I had the, um, you know, the groin injury in, in December. And I'm just trying to get back to, to who I am, and um, so you know it was great to get back out there. Danny had that huge third quarter for you guys. What do you see him being able to do for you as a team going forward? Whatever we need, he's going to defend. He's going to knock down shots. Big time player, he's a big time shooter, and he's a champion. So um, you never have to worry about if he's going to be there uh, every night. LeBron, you talk a lot um, this summer about. Um, before the season about seeding some offense and, and playing through AD. Um, what's that like in practice and, and how big of a process is it to kind of transition to that? Um, no, I don't think it's much of a process. Um, obviously, you know, our offense is going to get continue to get better and better on how we can, you know, get AD in a, in a proper position for him to be effective and how, as a team, we all can be effective as well. Um, and we showed tonight. There were times where we were great. Uh, there were times where we could be a lot better, you know, and especially for me being a point guard of the team right now, being able to put guys in position, um, you know, and also being able to put myself in position too to be aggressive at times too. So, um, you know, we we take more look at more film, and like I said, it was a great test um, as far as us on how we can uh, be better. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app, and for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN Plus.